Welcome to the channel. My name is Ed and you're watching Corvette Ed's Garage. Today I have a bonus clip for you on how to polish aluminum. I purchased an aluminum radiator for the Corvette to handle the additional heat that the supercharger is going to create. But before we get started, let's stop for a brief pause and we'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. Uh, this, uh, this is a replacement uh, radiator, aluminum radiator for the Corvette. Uh, uh, since I'm running, I'm going to be running a supercharger. It's going to generate a little bit more heat. Uh, in the factory, uh, radiator was not wasn't all that great to begin with anyway. So I, I was going to do it either, either way. Um, the radiator is somewhat uh, shiny, polished. Uh, but I think I could do better. So what I have here is I have a couple of clay bars. We have the rouge and then we have the, uh, the white, the clear. Um, I'm going to try the rouge first. Normally it usually comes out pretty good just using that. Uh, but I might just go a step above depending on what it looks like. Uh, and, uh, and use the white clay. Uh, these are my buffing wheels, uh, one for the rouge and the white clay, and then here's my uh, uh, air, uh, air sander. Uh, it, it's capable of 1900 RPMs. So one thing you got to do is you got to be careful when you, if you're using something like this, make sure you're at an angle. Uh, 19,000 19, RPM is pretty quick. Sorry, I think I said 1900. 19,000 RPMs, uh, uh, and she likes to get away, get away from you, so you got to really have a strong, steady hand to do something like this, otherwise you're going to end up making your uh, aluminum and uh, you're going to hate that part, okay? So let's, uh, let's get to it then. I ended up using the uh, white clay, as you'll see here. Uh, the, um, the rouge was what's, what's good, but uh, depending on the uh, aluminum material, uh, I had to go ahead and use the uh, white clay to try to get that mirror effect, which I'm trying to achieve here. Um, um, I think a mirror effect on aluminum is just so 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 beautiful. It's it's almost speechless. Uh, it pretty much speaks for itself uh, when you get it that to that quality. Uh, anyway, uh, nice and even strokes here, guys. Uh, you're not trying to. Uh, uh, smash down on it uh, you're, you're polishing so that's one thing you got to remember and if you use an air gun like this you, you need to be very careful um, we're, we're, the air gun's about 19,000 RPM so I want half of that I want to try to get six to 7,000 uh, or a little, bit, a little bit half of that so I'm using the trigger to lower the speed of the gun but I've been doing this for a lot of years, so I suggest if you want to do something like this, uh, practice. Get a power drill or something to practice on, um, because uh, if you're not careful and if you don't angle that uh, gun, that air gun, uh, it'll get away from you, and then that's when you start nicking the aluminum. Trust me, you won't like that at all. Uh, it really sucks when that happens. But uh, again, I've been doing this for a lot of years, so. I pretty much know what I'm doing when it comes to this kind of stuff. Uh, here I have Blue Magic. Uh, it's a great uh, aluminum polisher that I've, I've been using for a lot of years. Uh, it actually went away for a while and then it came back. I was a little happy about that. Uh, it went away for some years, uh, but when it came back it was great. Uh, this is the only stuff that I use for polishing aluminum. Um, uh, after you apply the aluminum, um, uh, or the, uh, the aluminum polisher, uh, go ahead and polish it up with a, uh, with a rag and try to again try to get that mirror effect. Uh, here's a bigger portion, a bigger portion of the aluminum. Uh, same thing, uh, as you can see, the aluminum, uh, the, the blue magic turns black, and that's when you know it's working. So, um, as you see, it's getting clear. You can see the actual yellow box behind it, and uh, you know, as you continue polishing, 
Uh, you see there's a better view of the box that's behind the uh, uh, radiator. So that's coming, that came out pretty good. So in the end, uh, it's not perfect, but it is good enough. Uh, I, I like it. Um, it uh, really came out the way I wanted it. Damn it, that's a hell of a shot. Woo! Oh, sorry guys. Anyway, that's the uh, method that I use for polishing aluminum. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for today um, until episode number three, which is going to be coming out here shortly. And remember, if you want to uh, uh, see any of the films that I push out, hit that subscribe button. It'll notify you. If you like what you're seeing today, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you have different methods, I'm sure, uh, of, on polishing aluminum, I'm sure my viewers and uh, myself would like to hear them. Until then, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, appreciate it, and we'll see you in episode number three. Take care.